Hi, if you're a Christ follower and a history geek like me, then you've probably seen or read where scholars have said that Easter is an adaptation of a pagan holiday. A lot of Christians are uncomfortable celebrating Easter for that reason, because they want no association with a pagan deity. But is the pagan holiday thing really true? Well, let's take a look at that. Hi, my name is Gay O'Neill, and this is Jesus Stories, where we find about Christian history and about heroes of the faith, because so much of who we are is because of who they were. The pagan holiday theory holds that the name Easter comes from the name of a goddess named Ostra. The name Ostra comes from the German word Ost or East. Ostra was the goddess of the dawn. So since the sun rises in the east, the goddess of the dawn got the name of the east or Ostra. Pagans in Northern Europe and the British Isles held festivals to Ostra in the spring. Eventually, the name Ostra became associated with the season of spring and then eventually with the month of April. Germans still refer to April as Ustermonat or Easter month. So, is it likely that the word Easter could be traced back to the word Ostra? Yeah, that's actually entirely possible. But here's the fatal flaw in the pagan holiday theory. The name Ostra only works with German or German-derived languages like English. And right now, there are close to 7,000 different languages worldwide. Most non-English speaking Christians refer to Easter in one of three ways. Italians, you know that country where the Vatican sits, refers to it as Pasqua, which is a variation of Pascha or Passover. No Ostra in Italian. Koreans call it Puaida or Resurrection Day. No Ostra in Korean. In Ukraine, it's Vyelikden. Again, no Ostra. There are 2.6 billion Christians in the world today, and the largest language group among them is Spanish. 312 million Spanish speakers call it Pascua de Resurrección. No Ostra. So, is Easter the celebration of a pagan holiday? No. Easter is a word. No matter what we call it, we don't celebrate a word. We celebrate a risen Lord. Verdad deramente a resucitado. Thanks so much for watching Jesus Stories. I hope that you will subscribe and let me know down in the comments what stories you would like to hear me talk about. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.